Hey Capricorn, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. So I laid out your spread this week, Cap, with a combination of the Sacred Forest Oracle and the Good Tarot. I'm still getting kind of like my last spreads out of me with this combo. It's funny for me, Capricorn, because I'm making my way through the majority of your spread and I understand exactly what it's saying, but it felt a little like woo-woo. And I'm not against like woo-woo, very ethereal or very kind of like spiritually focused readings or energies, but I hit a point in this reading and I went, how does this actually apply to Capricorn's life? Like, how does this play out in their relationships? How does this play out like in the real world? And so I'm just wondering if that's some of your energy too, Capricorn, that it's not that you don't like like the very highbrow, like spiritual, like the woo-woo stuff, but at this point in your journey, or at least this point right now, you've just hit a moment where you're feeling very pragmatic, very practical. Like if this isn't going to apply somehow to my actual personal life, I kind of don't want to deal with it. It's the feeling of like, I don't have time. That's, that's how you feel, Capricorn. I don't have time for this. It's like that meme from that show, Inventing Anna, and she goes, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for you. Like, it's just like, you're just really busy. I don't know if you can hear it. You might be able to pick up on it throughout the reading, but there's a lot of woodpeckers outside and you can hear them like, which is very much of this like resilient, hardworking, like, you know, in your in your uh, midnight studio, kind of just like plugging away, working. It's very eight of pentacles energy. That's what you're in. If you're just very busy, um, a lot of people want your time. You have to stay very focused, right? And anything that isn't going to apply to your actual life, you kind of just don't want to deal with. You just don't have time for it right now. The bandwidth, we don't know her. We don't have her right now. So Let's pray um, and we'll, we'll kind of make our way through this spread. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Capricorns in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Capricorns highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Cap. So, we're starting your reading off with the seven of air, which is kind of like this very busy bee staff meeting card. And this is the impression that I'm getting, right? It's like you're kind of this mother goose energy, Capricorn, like you're sitting here and there's just like a lot of activity happening around you, right? It's like kind of all these ducklings have just started to gather. They might have always been there, but it feels like in recent times, like there's been an influx of people coming in and it's coming out with this transformation card. And so it's this idea, Capricorn, that like you are a very good leader. There are a lot of people that come to you needing advice, needing assistance, needing directions, right? It's almost like you're the one that gives people like their flight plans, right? And it's like they're coming to you going, Capricorn, like, how do I change this? How do I do this? How do I transform? How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I, right? It's that sort of energy. And I think that you've been in it for a while and I think that it's fine. And I think that you are really good at it and you don't mind. But, you know, you are uh, outputting a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of resources to others right now. And again, this might be something that you just kind of do regularly, but this is the energy of like, I don't have time. I have to get through like all of these little ducklings. Now, in the midst of this happening, you being very busy, you have the three of earth coming out. And so there seems to be something Capricorn that happens that when you are in the midst of of the kind of in into the thick of it, right? And you have all of these people, all of these places, everyone like wants a piece of Capricorn right now. In the midst of it, it feels like something else catches your eye. There's even like an energy of like apprenticeship here, like Capricorn, can you teach me? Like there, there is something about that, but something catches your eye and I see you kind of looking past. It's like when you're in a room and everyone's talking to you or it's just really busy and you kind of have that moment where everyone's voice just kind of starts to disappear it's like your lights are on but no one's home because like there's something else beyond or within that's kind of capturing your attention that's what it seems like it's like the buzz of everything and everyone around you and you just kind of check out and something else like across the way seems to catch your eye and you kind of want this closer look at it it's like what is that because whatever is catching your eye it feels very different than whatever is already surrounding you, including the people. So this three of earth is being followed by this ace of earth and the six of air. And so again, it's like out of nowhere, 
in the midst of your very busy schedule, something catches your eye and it's this ace of earth and it's this six of air. Now, when I'm looking at this six of air and this ace of earth, this stag here, it almost feels like it's not on this boat, but it reminds me of when boats oftentimes have like statues, right? It'll be like a wolf or a gargoyle or some very kind of like ornate piece hanging off of the front of it to like help other people identify like who owns this boat. It's that kind of energy, right? It's kind of like in Game of Thrones when Arya sets to go west of Westeros and she has that big wolf, like not only on the sails, but also at like the front of the ship that it's like, it seems like there's something very big attached to this. And that's part of what's catching your eye. And you notice that something is moving towards you and it has to do with this forest temple, this enlightenment card. Do you see how these are both kind of glowing here? It's like something is glowing from the inside and then there's also this like really prominent or glowy piece on the outside. It's very interesting for you to kind of notice this energy or this person, this whatever it is coming forward to you. But it seems like it's at a bit of a distance. So you are kind of like looking forward. With this enlightenment, there is like this extreme sense of joy that comes through here. There's even this heart space that is being illuminated in the character on this forest temple card like it's that feeling of it's here or it's it do you know what it is it's an energy that feels like it's an equal or it's an energy that feels more elevated or more established something like that it's again it's different than the energies and the people that you already have around you this again you're very good at it capricorn you are good at playing mother or father goose, but it does, see how it's so blue? And it's kind of like, it's these very cool tones. It's a sense that you have to give so much of your life force energy or the routine that you're in right now has become kind of redundant. And in that redundancy, it's becoming draining to you. Whereas this energy, it feels elevated. It feels like it is um, more equal or in alignment to what you're doing. It feels very life-giving. So as it's sort of at a distance, you move into this three of fire card, which is kind of cute because it sort of reminded me of like a ferry boat or how they have those little speed boats that you'll get off of like a big ship um, and you'll take it to shore or people from shore will get on like one of those little speed boats and they'll go meet someone at a ship who's further into, I almost said the bay, that's interesting, into the bay or into the water so that way they can ferry people back to shore. It's, it's just, just energy Capricorn of you trying to meet this energy like halfway it's almost you're in the middle of the frenzy everyone wants your attention everything's going on this thing catches your eye and you go holy shit like what is that that looks exciting this this looks significant to me i have to go meet it it's almost like something just clicks off in your brain and it's like you don't even think about it you don't become intellect you only become instinctual it's just this pure action next thing you know you're moving towards this energy to meet it halfway and one, you have it, the star, that's not true. Well, you do, but not right now. <laughs> you have the sun and you have manifesting dreams coming up next following it. And so that seems to kind of be like what you're racing towards. It's this feeling of this is a dream come true. Like I've been waiting for an energy like this. Even it could be like an energy that you could learn from because you are in so much of this protector or nurturer or teacher mode. It's like, oh, like. The master has appeared. You know what I mean? It's like, it's that kind of feeling that it feels like, oh, this is where life is. Oh, I've been waiting. I've been dreaming to have someone else to, you know, um, do you know what it reminds me of? Uh, like moms who have um, like a ton of kids and they spend all of their time having conversations with children, right? And they're just like, I just want another grown up to talk to. That's exactly kind of what it feels like. It's like, I just, I'm so excited to have another grown up to talk to. Like, let's have mimosas, like, let's just hang out. Like, it's so nice to not talk about bubble guppies. Like, it's that, it's that kind of feeling, right? I lived with my sister and all my nieces and nephews. I helped raise them for years and years. So it's like, I know that feeling, right? It's like, oh, it's so nice to have a conversation with someone and not call the bathroom the potty like it's that it's that sort of feeling um and so like, they're, they're, you're just excited you're just excited Capricorn right now as you're kind of moving towards them you have uh this love card wild rose fairy and you have the five of air 
coming out as well right so again with this heart space there's something about it that like really sparks you up whether this is romantic or professional or just social communal right whatever it is it just really sparks you up and the funny image that i got with these two cards you see how the body language is really similar it kind of reminds me again of like when you're on a boat and you're coming into shore or when you're coming into a dock and you kind of have to lean over the front of the boat in order to catch on to the dock so that way you can tie the boat to it right like it's it's that sort of feeling right it's like having to like lean over you're already kind of going out to meet it but once you start getting close it's like you really kind of just lean over to try and grasp like whatever this is and when you do that you hit the star card so the star card feels like the energy of attainment sort of how she's holding like this sacred vessel right it's this energy of oh i got it i caught the line i caught the dock like we're gonna start pulling it in now now as that happens the ten of earth comes out which feels like it's connected to this energy do you see how they're very similar in the coloring it's very grounded it's a lot of browns it's a lot of golds yellows orange it's like these really beautiful like earthy warm tones right for many of us we are moving at least in the northern hemisphere into spring and then we're gonna start moving into summer right we have the spring equinox um at the end of the week that i'm filming this and so it's like they're almost like the the harbinger of spring or the harbinger of summer or harvest it's like there's something really magical about it now they're sitting here and it's like they have all of their stuff this is what i'm saying that this energy feels like it's very Oh, I have, I, important but they just feel really well established like they have a lot of energy like they have a lot of resources it's like they have a lot of stuff is there a wolf and I was talking about Ari's boat huh um but it, it's just that kind of feeling They're, they've got all of it together they got what you need <laughs> it's that kind of energy the page of water is coming up next with this patience card so it seems like as soon as you kind of catch that line or catch the docker sort of attain or, or make contact with this energy it feels like there's sort of this message that they have for you capricorn that they've been watching you for a while they've been watching you work or or it's it's that sort of feeling i see the page of water and so i could see it from a very spiritual perspective like this being a spirit or a goddess or an entity or something coming forward going i've been watching you since you were little right like you know how they get creepy like that like i could see that happening but i could also see this page of water i feel like i'm so loud i guess i'm always loud it's an east coast thing but i also see this page of water being sort of representative of like the infancy stage in your process right they've kind of been aware of you they've known about you maybe they've even like checked in and seen what kind of work you've been doing since it was in the infancy stages when you moved from just this page of water just starting off on this path or this journey or this worker being someone who could handle having a lot of people come to you at once for advice or for assistance for help transforming like all of this different stuff like they've just been with you or they've at least known about what you've been doing for a long time with this patience card though there is this sense of they had to be patient almost as if upon first coming across you they recognized immediately that your energies were equal or your energies would play off each other very well maybe it would lead to some kind of enlightenment or it would be, it would be good like a good partnership to work together it would be really prosperous right but you have this spirit garden of autumn and you have this page of air it says letting go and so part of what they had to be patient from they were a little bit blocked off from making themselves known to you or making contact with you talking to you giving you an offer whatever it is the letting go feels less like surrender let go and it feels more like the process of just going through your natural seasons of maturity of wisdom of experience that's a lot that's more of what it feels like and the idea with this page of air is once you had gone through the necessary cycles once you had gone through the necessary seasons your energy opened up so even if you didn't put out like a big prayer or a big call i want to have other grown-ups to talk to or i want to be around people who can hold space as much as i can hold space or i want to be around people who feel 
more like equals or peers and less like students right whatever it doesn't feel like it was an explicit call that you put out but once you had moved past a certain cycle in your life your energy just naturally opened up and with this seven of earth it felt like that was a signifier for this energy almost as if there's this little fairy in their face right so it's kind of like spirit let them know or they noticed a shift in the energy right some kind of supernatural or energetic phenomena that they were privy to that let them know that okay capricorn's energy is open capricorn's energy has been matured capricorn has completed what capricorn has needed to do like you are free to go in and make contact with capricorn now and then you have the unicorn and you had the wheel of fortune come out with purity and so the message that i was pulling from this capricorn is that they they come in peace like they come in a pure energy this this person they come purely to kind of help you right again the wheel of fortune yes it talks about abundance and good fortune and things finally going your way the universe throwing you a freaking bone but also for me it talks a lot about personal seasons and we were talking about kind of all this blue right you moving from maybe like a personal winter or fall and instead into more of a spring or a summer energy, right? There is something about that. And it came out with the King of Cups too. And this is one, when I first looked at it, this is when I started, almost I got a little annoyed, which is kind of funny because I'm not in a bad mood today. But it was this energy of woo-woo. Is this all woo-woo stuff? Like who, is this just a spirit? Like what? what is this? Because I'm busy, right? It's like, this reading is great, but like I still have phone calls to make. Like I still have people that like I have to tend to. Like I still have a lot going on. So if this is just one of those like spiritual energies that rolls in with like a like a funky reading and then it just rolls out, okay. But again, like how does this apply to the actual life? And so this is where I kind of got this that again, Capricorn. This energy, like it comes in peace. It doesn't want anything from you. And I think part of that reaction that naturally came forward was is this just going to be something else that's going to need my attention? That's going to need my time. That's going to need me to hold its hand. That it's it's that sort of thing, right? It's like I need more equals. I need more peers. I need more assistance in my actual physical life, right? In my process, in doing what I'm doing. So if it's another thing that I'm just going to have to sit here and just kind of babysit, I don't have the time for it. And so they they corrected me. They refined that message and said, no, Capricorn, this energy, it comes forward purely. It doesn't want anything from you. It actually wants to give to you. It wants to add magic in. It wants to, um, again, be a harbinger of uh, this new season coming in your life. They want to give you life force energy, especially with this King of Cups. The King of Cups is not someone that requires um, emotional deposits from other people. The King of Cups can like handle his own emotions. He's in charge of his own emotional harmony. He has creative discipline. Like he's a very established energy, right? Like he doesn't need he or she, it's just a card. He doesn't need anything from anyone because he has the ability to give it to himself. And so this feels like this person, this entry, like it is a gift to you. It's just supposed to be something that gives you life is supportive to you feels more like a peer or an equal energy other grown-ups as opposed to more people places or things that you have to take care of right even if you enjoy it because i don't want to say that like you have to take care of it because you might really enjoy that right that aspect but it's just it's just more of um egalitarian is the word that i want to use and then the last two cards that had come out for you were gratitude this bluebell fairy and then retreat now there's a couple of things that came off this retreat card one inside this little snow globe there's a home and immediately when i pulled that card they started trying to highlight the dynamics of the home to me again it's like someone who is a single father or a single mother and everything is on them the child rearing um you know the domestic duties working the bills just everything is on that one person as opposed to like a healthy um dynamic like within a house or within roommates where again it's more egalitarian like everybody and i was raised by a single mom so just just so you know i i get it single mom single dads are like the superheroes of the planet but as opposed to being in a house where everyone has shared duties and responsibilities again it's more egalitarian um everyone can share space everyone pulls their own weight it's it's just more equal like around the board and this is part of the retreat sort of feels like it's pulling you out of this energy where other people capricorn may be 
codependent, maybe hyper dependent on you, where you don't have um, the support or the assistance that you need, despite you being able to give it to so many people, right? Um, this is pulling you out and pulling you into a situation where you have so much more of that available to you. And that's also why, again, it is like a bit of a boon for you. It is some good luck, some good fortune. It is indicating like a change of seasons for you, right? And the, this energy, it comes purely. It doesn't want to siphon or take anything from you. If anything, it just wants to add to you. And again, when I was asking like, how does this play out in like kind of like more of a practical way? You know, it could just be that maybe it's a romantic relationship kind of appearing to you and this person doesn't want to take advantage of your kindness or your goodness. And as a matter of fact, they want to add to you, right? They want to pour into you. They want to introduce you to their friends who have more of these healthy egalitarian relationship dynamics, right? Which is different from what you're coming from. Or you know what I mean? You are, or you are approached by someone at work. And they want to offer you like a bit of a promotion and by moving up that level right you have more people that have the ability to do more work share responsibilities are more cooperative together right like so in that way i can see it playing out very practically that there seems to be someone coming forward that is intended to help you transition into a period of your life whether it's personally romantically professionally um, but transition into a new phase of your life, the next chapter that allows you to have more assistance and support, that allows you to be around more like-minded people, allows you to be with people whose energies are aligned to you to help fill you up as you are pouring so much into others, right? And yes, this can be a woo-woo thing. This absolutely can be um, a spirit, um, an entity, an ancestor, something coming in for you to help give you um like a broadened access to new energies right that aren't so draining right bumping you into new collective energies all that jazz right so it could be kind of woo woo and spiritual like it could also play out very practically um in general the message is relatively simple but i also think it really is important capricorn that like help is on the way it is kind of a dream come true whether or not you had verbally asked there there was a need there the universe god saw a need and has been making sure that the right kind of divine partners, right, are coming in to help meet that need for you. So this is what I have. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope that you were able to benefit in some way from these messages. I appreciate you being here. It's always an honor to read for you guys. I'm going to do an extended reading. If you're interested in your extended reading or your monthly reading for March, those links will be in the description box. I do offer personal readings. You can book with me if you feel called to through my website. And I always encourage you guys to check out Patreon. We are building our family. We love it over there. All the extendeds, all the monthlies and our mystery school, which is doing quite well. So that's what I have for you, Pat. I love you so much. I will see you next time. Goodbye.